So I'm back today with a short post track day uh, video, mainly to talk about um, some of the things I discovered while I was on the track uh, last weekend, as well as some things that I was going to include in my first pre-track day video, but didn't because I didn't do a track day in July because I had an issue with my foot and it swole up and I couldn't even get my boot on. Anyway, as you can see, success, no more chicken strips. I definitely used the Palette Cup 2s as intended. <clears throat> Had them out on the track. It was one of those perfect track days where the weather was great. Uh, even out here on the Canadian prairies, it wasn't even that windy for once. So it was a fantastic day. Um, and uh, yeah, bike performed flawlessly. Um, just to maybe start off with around the front, you can see that I have uh, the KTM Power Parts number plate with my old race number on it. I uh, bought it used off a guy in the States, uh, came in about three or four days before the track day, so timing was perfect. And the whole process of unbolting the stock headlight and putting this on is simple and straightforward. This is the headlight dongle, which in itself does not um, eliminate the trouble codes. It's actually, so that obviously works for the headlight, but actually this thing in the back which also has something to do with the ABS system that's definitely this bracket is is specific to this and this plugs into this ECU cord here anyway so I just plugged in the headlight don dongle turned on the bike there was a trouble light asked a question on a forum someone said well install the whole kit idiot and plug this in and trouble light gone and and it says it was tough for me to understand but it also says it, it does something with the abs system anyway when i had it out on the track um going as fast as i was comfortable with considering this is uh my first ever new bike purchase not my first time at the track by any means but uh going you know a a, a quick but um safe pace I certainly didn't notice any ABS kicking in, so it might have eliminated the ABS uh, feature of these bikes. But anyway, as I said, the bike handled fantastic. I uh, just used the sport settings in the manual and uh, obviously took off the tail light. You can see down there, took off the headlight, adjusted the suspension according to the manual, and it was just fantastic. Um, initially, I was worried that, oh, am I gonna drag the kickstand? Not even close. Um, I was, I, I, my knees were down, my, my toe on the right hand side and a bit on the left uh, was touching down. So you can make whatever comment you want about my technique. But uh, side stand does not touch down at all. If it does, you're crashing. Um, and yeah, what else can I, what else can I say? Um, again, I don't have the track pack or the quick shifter feature. So I just had it on sport mode, um, performed really great as I, I I'm saying that a lot um, yeah I guess the only other thing is that uh, some guy was getting rid of a, an orange anodized aluminum sprocket happened to be 41 tooth happened to be 520 pitch happened to be KTM bolt pattern I happened to see it and I happened to buy it so um, that uh, adds a bit more orange bling to the machine um, I've already dumped the oil um, after this so now it's, it's 2600 kilometers and this is its third oil change uh, new KTM filter here I did drill these um, screens out for safety wiring so I'll, I'll wire those up for the next track day hopefully in September um, there was a bit of um, uh, metal in there but small pieces um, you know shave dust whatever you want to call it so there's gonna be that when you're breaking in a new engine so not enough to make me scared I did uh, see a, what I thought was a big hunk of um, what looked to be from from the angle and the the light on it I thought it was uh, um, like a piece of, of chrome plating that you might see on I don't know um, a gear or something like that like um, I know with Ducati's some of the rockers would would lose their chrome finish anyway turned out to be uh, um, that anaerobic sealant so nothing severe going on um, in terms of the engine department so no leaks on the cylinder head which some of them are doing um, <clears throat> I thought I might have a bit of a leak behind the counter shaft sprocket but that's not the case it was just a trip chain lube so yeah I'm gonna put her back to street and um, 
keep riding it until uh, the September track day comes around when I go do this all over again. But uh, yeah, the whole conversion process takes, I think I can probably get it done easily in 45 minutes if I, if I work slowly. <clears throat> um, a few more things are coming in. Um, they're again, trolling eBay. There's a guy who's uh, selling um, uh, Woodcraft case covers for the left-hand side. So I picked that up for uh, less price than new, obviously. And I'm gonna try a different exhaust system. So again, this is nice and quiet and it works as it should, but um, uh, there was a deal on Black Widow exhausts uh, out of the UK. Well, there goes my neighbor and his incessant lawn mowing. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. So this might be in in a little while. I'll put on the uh, Black Widow exhaust and uh, do a quick maybe unboxing video of it and, uh, and a sound check. Uh, at the end of this or during this or whatever, uh, I did get some onboard um, GoPro footage as usual. I was sure I was going way faster than it looks on the video, but uh, I've got uh, five 20 minute sessions. So I'm not gonna put all five 20 minute sessions to YouTube, but I'll upload some segments and uh, include it in this video. So uh, I should say this now, like and subscribe, which is apparently what YouTubers do. So if you haven't already done so, like and subscribe.